And we are back. Good afternoon, good evening, good day. How's everyone out there in video land? The wise guys are in session, and today we're going to talk about metric units and making conversions between metric units. If we're all ready. When you convert a measurement from one metric unit to another, use a unit conversion. Okay, a unit conversion shows the equivalence of two measurements. For example, from the previous video, where we showed the chart, we saw that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. The unit conversion that shows this is one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Now you know that if you place equivalent val values one on top of the other in fraction format, what you have is equal to one. Okay? You can also write this, sorry, you can also write this in the inverted form, a thousand meters is also equal to one kilometer. In both cases, this statement is telling you something that is equal to one. Okay, so that's a unit conversion where we show the equivalence of the two different ways of expressing that measurement. Okay, so if we want to convert, for example, 14 meters to centimeters, here's something to note. The unit conversion is 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter, so we can write it like this. When we set up this unit conversion, we will set it up so that the unit that's given in the number that we're starting with is on the bottom of the unit conversion. We're starting with 14 meters, so we want the meters part of this unit conversion to be in the denominator position. And the reason for that is that we can cancel. We can cancel common units just like we can cancel common factors in a fraction. From there, our problem becomes 14 times 100 centimeters divided by 1. Okay, remember you work with fractions. 1400 centimeters. Remember when you're multiplying fractions, you multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. Here's another example. We want to convert 24.4 centimeters to millimeters. So we'll start by writing 24.4 centimeters times, now the unit conversion is 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter. Remember now that we want the centimeters in the denominator's position. We want it in the bottom of the unit conversion so that we can cancel the common units. 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter. We write it in this format, we can cancel the common units, and we have 24.4 times 10 millimeters, which is equal to 244 millimeters. So 24.4 centimeters, which is what we started with, is equal to 244 millimeters. Okay. Don't forget, you can pause and rewind this video as you go along if you need extra help with any parts. Here's another example. We want to convert 4.54 kilograms to grams. And the unit conversion is 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. Okay, 4.54 kilograms is equal to how many grams? Begin with 4.54 kg. Multiply by the unit conversion. Once again, we'll put kilograms in the denominator position. And the reason for that is so that we can cancel the common units. And we now have 4.54 times 1,000 grams which is equal to, if you multiply by 1,000, you move the decimal to the right, three places, 4,540 grams. How are you doing, gang? Still with me? Oops, I'm sorry. One more example here. 6,000 liters to kiloliters, okay? 6,000 liters times the unit conversion is 
1,000 liters equals one kiloliter. All right, and that leaves us with 6,000. Oh, let's cancel the units there. 6,000 divided by 1,000 kiloliters, or six kiloliters. Okay, you can do this just by canceling the zeros, right? All right, here's some work for you. Try some of these. I'll go through them in a few minutes. First, pause the video, give them a try and see how you do, and then come back and we'll go through them together. Okay, if you're ready. Here we go. 99.34 centimeters equals one meter. One meter equals 100 centimeters. We'll start with 99.34 cm times 100 cm equals one meter. Cancel units. 99.34 divided by 100 meters equals point nine nine three four meters. Remember, to divide by 100, move the decimal two places to the left. 155.57 milliliters is how many centiliters? Let's do it, 155.57 times 10 milliliters equals one centiliter. With me so far? This was in mils. We can cancel the common units and we have 155.57 divided by 10 centiliters or 15.557 centiliters. Okay, next, 80 hectometers is how many kilometers? Begin with 80 hectometers, multiply by, one kilometer is 10 hectometers. We'll put 10 hectometers in the denominator position, equals one kilometer. That says one kilometer. We can cancel the units, and we have 80 divided by 10 kilometers, or eight kilometers. Okay, moving on, 4.008 kilograms is how many grams? If one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams, which we can get off the chart, 4.008 kg multiplied by the unit conversion, which is one kg is in the bottom position, 1,000 Grams is in the top position. Remember that these are equal measurements. And the next step is 4.008 times 1,000. After we cancel the units, we're left with grams. Equals 4,008 grams. Okay, how are we doing? You following? Don't forget, you can pause, you can replay. 0.3889 decameters converted to centimeters. One decameter is equal to 1,000 centimeters. So we will multiply by 1,000 centimeters is equal to one decameter. Okay, cancel the common units. And we are now 3.3889 times 1,000, or 3 point, sorry, 38, 388.9 centimeters. We need to move the decimal three places to the right. To multiply by 1,000, we move the decimal three places to the right. Next, 4,500 centimeters squared is how many millimeters squared? 
1 cm squared is equal to 100 millimeters squared. So 4,500 cm squared times 100 millimeters squared is equal to 1 centimeter squared. Cancel units. And we have 4,500, that's not a decimal, that's 4,500, times 100 millimeters squared, or what is that? 450,000 millimeters squared. Number seven, moving on, 3,000 micrometers if one millimeter is equal to a thousand micrometers, we'll multiply three thousand micrometers by one millimeter is equal to a thousand micrometers. We'll cancel the units. And our question is now three thousand divided by one thousand millimeters or three millimeters kind of a cluttered up looking answer sheet, but I hope you're following. A few more to go before we finish. 60,000 centimeters cubed is how many liters if one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed? This is what we'll do. 60,000 centimeters cubed multiplied by one liter is equal to 1,000 centimeters cubed. We'll cancel the units and what we have is 60,000 liters divided by 1,000 or 60 liters. We're getting there. On the home stretch, 5,500 millimeters cubed is how many milliliters? If one millimeter cubed is equal to 0 0.01 liters, 55 or 5,500 millimeters cubed multiplied by 0 0.01 liters equals one millimeter cubed. We'll cancel the common units and our problem is 5,500 times 0 0.01, which is the same as dividing by 100. Move the decimal two places to the left, and the answer is 55. The unit is liters. I hope you're finding that this is helpful. I hope you're finding it easier. Once you can do unit conversions, you'll find them very useful. 4.78 metric tons is how many kilograms? If one ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. Let's do it. 4.78 tons times 1,000 kilograms is equal to one ton. We can cancel the units and we'll multiply 4.78 by 1,000 and the answer will be 4,780 and the unit is now kilograms. All right, good luck with unit conversions. Keep practicing, it gets easier and you'll see how we can do unit conversions to convert between metric and imperial. This has been a presentation of Wise Guys. <laughs>